Okay, so it's early in the morning. I'm having some coffee here. And one thing I love about the Peugeot 5008 are the removable third row seats. Sitting on one now. Very convenient, very easy to use. So, and the seats aren't heavy. It's about seven kilograms. So uh, even ladies can. <laughs> Dog. So even ladies can you know operate this thing and you know remove it, put it back. Not too much effort. Okay, go go get my dogs now. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Thai Auto News. Today I'll be reviewing the Peugeot 5008, which is a seven-seater MPV slash SUV. That's pretty exceptional in terms of design and performance. So today we'll be doing a small walk around to check out the design highlights as well as taking this one out for a spin to check out the performance from the 1.6 liter turbocharged engine as well as the French tune suspension of this uh, seven-seater. All right, let's check out the exterior highlights of the Peugeot 5008. First thing, front grille with the large lion logo over here. In the past, I always make fun of this logo. It, you know, it looks like a, a lion that's doing a hip hop dance. <laughs> like, you know, uh, MC Hammer style, right? Stop. Hammer time! Maybe uh, over here we got 5008 uh, badge, 3D uh, kind of a design for the front grille. So nice front end design. F full LED headlight, and this is a long. Uh, they say it's like a lion's fang, but uh, okay. So, gotta start the engine to check this light strip left and right. So, very noticeable when you're on the road. So, even Chinese brands like Haval has copied this kind of a treatment. Okay, coming to the side, uh, you know what? There is more chrome in this car on, on the exterior than German luxury cars. Look at the amount of chrome. Okay. One, two, three, four. It's like everywhere, right down to the end. Also chrome over here. A lot of chrome, I told you. More chrome down here. A lot claw type uh, tail lights. Looks good too. Peugeot logo, the hip hop lion. Okay, there you go gesture like a swipe to gain access to the rear compartment and uh, if you have all the seats up maybe not so much uh, storage room left but uh, that's the common thing with the MPVs anyway if you want uh, more luggage space just uh, down here okay pull this <laughs> There you go. And I like this thing also, uh, this material is okay, not shabby. <laughs> nice and flat. Okay, so let's check out the interior design of the Peugeot 5008 and the first thing you'll notice is that it's pretty modern and you know spaceship-like, spacecraft-like, especially this steering wheel as well as the instrument panel display. But apart from the modernism, you also get a lot of uh, luxury and a lot of 
soft touch materials. It's kind of a rubbery kind of soft touch as well as fabric upholstery on the door panel and as well as on the console. This whole console, nice, soft touch here as well. Door panel, this is soft, that's soft, fabric, stitching, although, okay, just a little bit of plastic over there, but uh, not complaining. Pretty nicely done in the cockpit of the 5008. In terms of seating position, uh, both front seats are powered, and uh, you also get a powered lumbar adjustment four-way for the driver, which is uh, fully equipped uh, in terms of the front but the one thing you must get used to when driving modern day Peugeot is that the steering wheel position and the instrument panel display is a bit awkward I mean um, yeah the, the steering is a bit low and the display as well so uh, you've got to find your you know, the right adjustment otherwise you won't be able to see this uh, lower information apart from this multi-function steering wheel which looks very <laughs> spacecraft like and the instrument panel display you get a 10 inch touchscreen which um, does come with uh, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay but uh, not wireless you need to plug it into the USB and you also get a 3D display as well Another styling feature you won't find in other brands is the piano key controls over here which looks very upmarket as well it's not plastic it's kind of a uh, metallic and uh, down here we have a wireless charger the USB is over there but just one over there and uh, 12 volt outlet over here you've got the grip control uh, selector knob which uh, allows you to fine-tune the 5008 for different driving conditions they call this an SUV but you know what it's just a front-wheel drive car so uh, I think there's so much you can you know go off you can I don't think you can go heavy off-roading with this car but at least uh, you've got some some help from the drive system various drive systems over there you can uh, pick over there and look at the gear shift lever very unique very modern looking very spaceship like feel in this center tunnel and look at the amount of uh, decoration over here it looks very pretty here you can store some things over there but my phone won't fit here properly so too bad this is a better place to put the phone uh, <laughs> brake hold function over there and you got a small sport button here as well the cup holder is uh, over here uh, it's also illuminated so a nice blue uh, light at night makes this thing look more upmarket armrest soft touch and does hold a lot of things we can remove this i think yeah we can Oops. <laughs> but look right inside very deep so it's bigger than you think it is throws a lot of stuff over there let me lock it down Nice mechanism. As mentioned, this whole thing all soft. Let's check out the glove compartment. Oh, that's a huge thing over here. I think that's a fuse box. So this car has been uh, modified from left-hand drive to right-hand drive, and Peugeot didn't move this to the right, so uh, not so much space down there. Too bad. Okay, up here, got some more controls. The whole uh, roof is uh, glass, let me open it. Mm. 
very large glass area on top so for those who like uh, glass roof this is really cool okay close just one touch as well Let's check out the back seat space of the Peugeot 5008 rest. Plenty of leg room over here, very nice. And uh, armrest, put the phone here, cup holder as well. Feels sturdy and nice, not too shabby. And uh, in case you want to increase the rear leg room you can also move so uh, I can come a little bit more still just enough and uh, the rear leg room will be increased so uh, functionality in this car is really good uh oh no I like the front this is plasticky although okay the armrest is padded and you do get the same uh, fabric decoration oh one more thing and the backrest can be inclined as well so a little bit yeah nice comfort at the back of the 5008 I like it okay so let's start driving the Peugeot 5008 while in European markets this one will come with a wide range of engine choices whether it's a diesel or gasoline but for the Thai market there's just one this is the 1.6 liter turbo engine which is pretty uh, powerful maximum power is claimed at 167 horsepower at 6,000 rpm and the maximum torque 245 million meters right from 1,400 rpm to 4,000 so uh, nice uh, low rev torque available in this car make it easy to drive in in daily life uh, good flexibility I like the, the driver display the coloring and everything is nice although it's a bit small the, the gauges and but one thing you know the ref counter is counterclockwise which is eh, doesn't feel sporty it's just like with you know some brands are starting to do this uh, Bentley and even BMW 3 series is like counterclockwise ref counter which is like eh. but apart from that the seats man very supportive and you know, Peugeot is well known for offering high quality seats. I mean, uh, my family, we when I was a kid, we had three Peugeots, 204, 504, 505, and the seats were the best. And I think the tradition has continued to the present. Steering feels nice in the hands, despite its uh, strange uh, design. So uh, I guess, uh, with sporty driving, you can be pretty sure this one will offer some good stuff. And although it's just a, an MPV slash SUV, uh, the engine has enough power to get this one up to a top speed of 199 kilometers per hour. So fast enough for the German Autobahn at least. And for Thailand, no problem at all. The suspension comprises of MacPherson struts up front, torsion beam at the rear. And again, uh, one thing Peugeot has always been well known for is offering very good, very, good, very good tuning for the suspension. The good thing about this steering is that uh, you don't have to put in a lot of input, you know, steering uh, just a little bit and the car changes direction quite a lot. So quite convenient to drive in the city suspension wise I think uh, the only weak point about this suspension is uh, although in 
in normal driving it offers a decent comfort level but uh, if you happen to go over uh, speed bumps or uh, sharp uh, vibrations on the road uh, it could feel a little harsh but in my opinion I think uh, I'm, I'm happy to to trade that off for sporty handling in the Peugeot 5008 in terms of safety uh, advanced safety you get uh, not the whole package uh, no emergency brake no automatic braking although okay you get blind spot warning lane change lane keeping assist which uh, can be turned off and once you restart the engine it'll, it'll remain off so that has been well thought of for example I don't like the lane change feature because I like to cross the <laughs> lane marking sometimes uh, so very convenient for me as well okay expressway I'm driving in normal mode now there's a sport button we'll press that later the gear shift indicator the gear position indicator on the driver display it also tells you the gear position now it's in D5 okay let's uh, kick down third almost 6,000 before shifting up oh it double shift to 6 already since I lift off just now anyway let's uh, shift into sport mode okay the, some of the controls in the 5008 you really got to press it hard for example the start stop button and this sport mode as well Oh, the steering feels a bit heavy. Perhaps a uh, part of that sport package, sport mode package. Sound is okay, eh? Got some grunt to it. And as mentioned, uh, I won't be doing top speed, but it's claimed at 199, so 200 kilometers per hour top speed steering is heavy now in sport mode you can easily feel it okay kick down 130 40 150 160 Still going, 170 180 and 190 5th gear Okay, I think that's enough Got it up to 190 so just nine kilometers per hour slower than the top, the claim top speed. So not bad. I probably get a speeding ticket today. <laughs> okay, so that wraps up our review of the Peugeot 5008. Just a few notes I gotta clarify. This is quite an aging model already. Uh, it has already gone a facelift and perhaps next year 2024 Peugeot might launch a new model already 5008 2024 but the good news is that this one was previously priced at about 1.8 million baht but right now for this year the price has gone down by 300,000 baht so the retail price of the 2023 Peugeot 5008 is below 1.6 million baht and uh, this one comes from the Peugeot assembly plant in Malaysia so uh, 
being imported from Malaysia, being an ASEAN member, 0% import duty. That's why they are able to keep the prices down. So if you're interested in a seven seater MPV slash SUV, that's really unique, whether it's a styling, exterior styling or interior styling. And there's a lot of nice things in this 5008. I mean, I also like it in, in many areas. Although uh, there are some small points that might not appeal to me. For example, the small uh, instrument panel and stuff like that. But it's still a pretty good buy for those looking for a unique and highly functional seven-seater. And if you're watching through YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We got like just 16,000 followers long way to go uh, also hit the bell icon to be notified when we have a new car review from thailand so that's all from me today Swadi crab okay so let me show you how to remove it and put it back yellow lever here pull handle Put it back, uh, pull the red. This would be the handle. But here you gotta be quite precise with the positioning. area and in addition you can also fold the rear seat backrest to maximize the luggage compartment size.